welcome everybody and welcome to my cruelty free haul that I made this weekend. I thought I would share with everybody. Um, some of it was um, super good clearance deals and some of it was just stuff that I decided to pick up. So I am changing all of my makeup over to cruelty free and I have several different lines that I'm trying out right now. But I didn't have this line and I thought I might as well try this line. The e.l.f. line. So I picked up the e.l.f. Um, foundation. There. BB cream and those were only like six dollars a piece which is a really good deal and then I also picked up their um, mascara and concealer and then I had a couple little elf things myself and um, I thought I'm just gonna add to what I have and do a little review of that line too and um, the brow kit I'm kind of excited about using that um, it's kind of like a gel and a setting powder and then one of the elf line um, of the blushes and these are like two if you go anything that's in the um, white packaging for elf it's only like one or two dollars a piece the studio line which is a little more of the high-end line um, goes for anywhere from like three to six something I'd say so I picked up that stuff yesterday and then uh, here's my big haul that I made is um, and I have tried some of the flower stuff out and I just love it but um, right now Walmart and I believe Target is tar trying to get rid of all of their um, summer stuff so they're marking it down like half price and I know Target sometimes they'll mark theirs down with like 75 percent so I picked up some of the flower nail polish I can't wait to try that and that's kind of a fall color you know so I think you can get by with wearing that no and their lipsticks are those cute the packaging I love the packaging on the flower brands um but it's kind of big and bulky a lot of times I'm carrying vintage purses so it's kind of hard to you know <laughs> put some of that stuff in there you have to confinagle what's fixed in those little um, vintage purses a little wallet maybe your phone if you're lucky and then just a few little makeup items so I usually end up giving some of the stuff to my husband for him to carry and stuff and then I end up with one of the flower little brush blushes excuse me and one of their little combo blushes which that has a little bronzer and the blush you know so you can do a little contouring with that which I like and their um, little lipstick or lip stains they had and um, I would say 90% of these I had gotten they were 50% off so go now go to Walmart and Target because here's the deal this I paid full price for but I wanted to try out their stick foundation it's good for um, using as a foundation and for a concealer both and then one of their little lip stains and that's kind of a little darky color and sometimes with this stuff if it's a little too summery I'll put on a, like a darker shade and then I'm gonna use this as a highlight or um, a little something so it doesn't show up too bright and too pinky and too summery so those are all the flower things that I got which I love and when I'm doing my little reviews of my different product lines I will be going in depth and talking about all these different products and how I use some stuff but I just want to show you what you got what I got today because I'm so excited also um, so all of the um, the elf stuff was regular price that's okay because it's still inexpensive anyway and all of the um, flower brand all of that was 50% um, off except for the one foundation stick which was an awesome buy and they're quite usable for the fall and then they also had their um, flower brand perfume on sale that was 50% off so I got one yes I got two and I got three of the perfumes. No, I'm not going to use all of them. I'm going to kind of look at the description and see which one would be well set, suited for me. And then I will gift the other things. Um, I, if I get a good clearance deal or something, it's something that I like, I will get two or three of them because I have girlfriends and sisters and cousins and whatnot that I'm always shopping for too. So I got those. Or maybe I might have a, a subscriber give, giveaway when I get up to that point. Or um, at work we do little, like, little um, what are they called? you know, silent auction stuff for different charities and stuff throughout the year. So we um, have to put little baskets together per department or per individual. So it's nice to have those to put those in. So in my next haul was, I believe this one was at Target, is, and this is, these are all cruelty free. Everything I'm going for, and this is cruelty free, and so is this one. Um, this is more of a sell, summer color, excuse me, but it's the Orly and it's the two-step color and sealer coat. And I got that not for 50% off, but like 75% off. I got those like for $4.99. And that, of course, that blue is a summer color. 
So, um, the thing with nail polish, if you keep it sealed and you keep it at a standardized room temperature, it will it will be just fine because it hasn't been opened yet. Once it's open, that's when you had the breakdown of the product and stuff, or it's a to extreme heat or cold. So if you keep it at room temperature, this will totally be fine for next year. So I got three of those, which may be one for me, two for gifts. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those. So, and the other haul I did, and this is a basket that I put together for a charity at work that they're going to have silent auctions for, but it's all l -Prox. I'm not going to go through all that stuff. I would just like to show you. You know, and the, I have everything in there from um, their makeup, the whole makeup line, to their brushes, to... Um, different little things like just little tweezers and stuff, their eye curler brushes, you know, and they're nice quality things. And I kind of got it like a, um, a neutral palette of colors and um, for like moderate skin tones that um, somebody had a medium that could wear it for a little lighter, a little darker and stuff. So whoever, whoever gets my silent auction basket here, it should be usable for pretty much anybody for any skin tone type, I'm hoping. So I got that and that was that was all regular price but it was so economical anyway so it doesn't matter so i was very happy about this because i'm trying to find some cruelty free products other than just my makeup but for um things you use for your hair and stuff i haven't found a setting lotion yet that's cruelty free but i was so happy when i found out that big sexy hair is cruelty free and also another hairspray I like to use, and it's in a pink and white jar, and I should have it out here, but it was not purchased yesterday as part of this haul. It's called Aero, A-E-R-O, hairspray, and that is cruelty-free also. But this is one I bought yesterday, so that's cruelty-free. I was so excited about that because I love this hairspray. I thought, oh, it's hard to find a good hairspray. One of the ladies at work was very nice, and she did some sewing for me. She's a lovely seamstress. And she never will take anything for it, but you always want to give her a little bit of something. And um, she has very sensitive skin, and she's allergic to sulfites or sulfides. So I found this brand, which is cruelty-free and doesn't have any parabens or sulfides or um, anything like that in it. And it is called, I'm sorry, Blamtastic Skins. <laughs> Blamtastic. Blamtastic. And I hadn't heard of it before, um... But it is cruelty free and they donate money to different causes and stuff. And it just says, never can contains any parabens, another chemical that I cannot pronounce, <laughs> sulfates, PEGs. Um, and there's a whole list of things that it doesn't have, like silicones and synthetic sulfites and artificial colors or synthetic fragrances or anything that's vegan, gluten free, and cruelty free. So I got these for a little thank you gift for her. So I was quite happy about that. These weren't too terribly, but I think I picked this up for eight or nine something and this was seven something and change so that wasn't too bad for both of these so I got those for her and then um, for shampoo and conditioner I have a brand that's called Simply that um, my sister gave me for a gift that I found out that was um, cruelty free also but Jessica Alba has a whole line of um, not makeup products but skincare products and shampoos and conditioners and um, body washes and lotions and that type of stuff. So I picked up some of her Alba Botanical um, Hawaiian Shampoo and Conditioner. And I tried those out um, when I washed my hair last time. They work very fine. Very, um, you know, your basic shampoo conditioner. I really like those. No animal testing, no artificial colors, no parabens, um, no sulfates or sodium sulfates. So that's very nice. And it's um, a light coconut smell. So it always reminds I don't care if it's um, summer, spring, winter, fall. I like anything that has a little bit of coconut. And it's not where you can smell it after you wash it, just during your washing. It doesn't, you know, sometimes like that stuff, you can still smell the coconut. This dissipates after you wash your hair, but you get that nice coconutty smell while you're washing your hair. So that pretty much is my big um, cruelty free um, makeup and lotions and perfumes and whatnot haul that I made this weekend. Like I said, it's the time now to hit your. Um, drug stores or your um, Targets and Walmarts and whatnot and even your bigger department stores because they're getting rid of their um, seller summer I'm sorry summer spring and summer colors right now so a lot of their stuff is going like half off or more and a lot of it you can um, incorporate into your fall and your winter colors and not maybe use just that color but use it as a highlight or use a portion of it or um, still usable for the season so thanks for um, sharing all my cruelty finds that I did this weekend. I'm so excited. Got some super great deals and it's time to hit the store for the um, end cap shopping girls and we'll see you guys next time until our next cruelty free purchases or review. Bye!